Welcome back to Ultimate Movie Recaps. Thanks for supporting us. Today I am showing a 2013 American dystopian science fiction action film titled Elysium. Watch out for the spoilers, just enjoy and take care. During the end of the 21st century, widespread pollution and plague threatened to decimate the world's population. Earth's richest flee to Elysium, which resembles just like a space station that has Earth-like habitat and provides its citizens with everything they need to thrive. Among them, the most cardinal facility is Med Bays which can instantly cure any disease. Armed androids and the Elysium Corporate Authority keep the majority of humanity back on the dying planet, where access to comprehensive medical care is incredibly limited. A young boy named Max and a young girl Frey arrive at a Los Angeles orphanage on the same day. The pair bond quickly, with Frey teaching Max how to read, and Max promising to take them both to Elysium one day. Max begins to steal from others with the hope he will buy a ticket to Elysium. The nun who runs the orphanage chastises Max and tells him neither of them will ever see Elysium. She adds that Max is incredibly special and will one day do something amazing. The nun gives him a small locket with a picture of Earth as seen from space inside of it, now Max can see how beautiful the planet looks to those who live on Elysium. After some years, we are shown an adult Max waking up in a shack and preparing for his shift at the local Armadine factory. Armadine manufactures weaponized androids that not only protect Elysium but also act as a robotic police force on Earth. While standing in line to board the bus that will take him to a plant, two police androids identify Max as a parolee. He used to steal cars and get into fights. They demand he empty his bag, and when he refuses, one hits his arm while the other searches his bag. Before leaving him, they tell him to report to his parole officer. He goes to a nearby hospital and gets surprised when he sees Frey. The last Max had heard about Frey was when she moved away to pursue a career in nursing. Max begs Frey to go to lunch or grab a coffee with him. She treats his injuries and finally agrees to have coffee but she could not comply as she has to attend to another patient. Next, Max pays a visit to his parole officer, another android. Despite Max's protests that he did nothing wrong, his parole officer adds eight months to his parole. Max's bad day gets worse when he arrives for work late, and his shift boss threatens to fire him because of his injured arm. Max promises he can still work, and his shift boss relents. Max works at a station where half-built androids are exposed to radiation. Armadine's founder, an Elysium resident named John Carlyle is seen overlooking the factory floor. During a conference call with members of the board, John assures them he can return Armadine to profitability. Elsewhere in Los Angeles, a smuggler named Spider oversees the launch of three illegal space shuttles to Elysium for an astronomical fee. He sends Los Angeles's sick and dying to Elysium by forging skin imprinted citizen records for them. Once the shuttles land on Elysium, their occupants can break into mansions to use med bays, devices that can heal any ailment. Spider and his cronies use stolen shuttle codes to gain access to Elysium's airspace. Even so, it doesn't take long for the Civil Cooperation Bureau, which handles threats to Elysium, to notice the intruder's approach. Defense Secretary Delacorte arrives at the CCB and assesses the situation. She decides to enlist Kruger, an Earth residing sleeper agent, to neutralize the potential invaders. She ignores a CCB agent who reminds her that EC of President Patel prohibits such tactics. Kruger, who also lives in Los Angeles, receives his mission and goes to a CCB van. He removes a missile launcher from the van and fires upon the three illegal shuttles. The missiles manage to hit and destroy two of the space shuttles, but the third evades the projectile and lands in a residential area of Elysium. Delacorte dispatches androids to capture the shuttle's occupants. A mother with a crippled daughter breaks into a mansion. She places her daughter in a med bay. Thanks to Spider's forged citizen records, the machine mistakes the girl for an Elysium citizen and heals her. The daughter takes a few steps toward her mother before androids burst into the home and arrest them both. They are taken to a holding facility where they will await deportation to Los Angeles. Later, the ECA's governing board summons Delacorte to a professional conduct hearing. President Patel castigates Delacorte for disobeying protocol and for dealing with the illegal space shuttles so brutally. Delacorte is unapologetic. She tells the board that they might not like her tactics, 
but she does what is necessary to keep outsiders from overrunning Elysium. Patel warns her that another act of insubordination will result in her immediate termination. The board reviews Kruger's file and notes that he has been accused of murdering, raping, and torturing people. They decide to terminate his contract with the ECA. Back on Earth, Kruger flies into a rage when he receives news of his sacking. Max goes to work again. The door to his irradiation station jams, halting production. His shift boss tells him he can climb inside the irradiation station to unjam the door or clean out his locker and look for another job. Against his better judgment, Max enters the station. He fixes the door's problem, but he doesn't have time to exit before the door slides shut. He begins to scream as he is exposed to a lethal dose of radiation. When he wakes up, a medical android tells him he has five days before his organs will shut down. The android gives him a bottle of pills that will keep his body functioning until his death. John notices the commotion, but when Max's shift boss explains what has happened, he is unsympathetic. John tells the shift boss to remove Max from the bed before going to the shuttle that will return him to Elysium. Max stumbles home, and when Julio sees his friend, he helps him back to his shack. Max tells Julio he will die in five days unless he makes it to Elysium. He wants to go see Spider, to find a way to get a ticket for one of the illegal space shuttles. On Elysium, John arrives at Delacorte's home to try and convince her that the ECA should renew its contract with Armadine. Instead of listening to a sales pitch, Delacorte asks if John could create a program that would reboot Elysium's computer core and install her as the new president. She promises John to renew Armadine's contract for another 200 years if he can help her accomplish the coup. John agrees with her and develops a protocol. He later uploads it onto his brain data device and makes it lethal for anyone manipulating the data. Julio and Max visit Spider, who used to employ Max to steal cars. Max begs Spider for a ticket to Elysium, promising to pay off his debt upon his return. Spider refuses him until he learns Max will be dead in five days if he does nothing. Figuring Max has nothing to lose, Spider takes Max and Julio to a back room. He shows the men a device if implanted in a person's brain, would allow someone to upload data from another person's mind. Spider knows that rich businessmen from Elysium visit Earth all of the time. If Max kidnaps one of the men and steals all of the data he has stored in his mind like corporate secrets, bank account passwords, etc., then Spider will send him to Elysium. Max agrees to the plan, but he insists upon adding Julio to the kidnapping team, and the businessman will be John. When Max almost collapses, he decides to install an android exoskeleton into Max's nervous system at the same time as the brain data device. The exoskeleton, which will cover most of Max's posterior side, will give him superhuman strength and agility. A group of spiders man knock Max out with anesthesia and operate on him, successfully installing the brain data device in the exoskeleton. When Max awakens from the surgery, he and Julio meet the other two members of the kidnapping team, Sandro and Manuel. Spider has equipped them with some impressive guns, including a missile launcher. The men depart for the Armadine factory, where they will ambush John's shuttle when he leaves. John sends word to Delacorte that he's about to leave for his space shuttle after developing the protocol. Max shoots the shuttle with a small missile when John boards his shuttle secured with two armed androids. The missile explodes, destroying one of the shuttle's wings. Max leaps into a car to pursue the crash with the rest of the kidnapping team. Delacorte receives an alert that a citizen of Elysium is being attacked by a citizen of Earth. She panics when she gets aware that the target is John. She contacts Kruger and enlists him to save John, she agrees to whatever he wants if he succeeds. Kruger puts a call out to two former comrades, Drake and Crow, to assist him. The men climb into an armored helicopter provided by the CCB and set off in pursuit of John. When the shuttle lands, John instructs the androids to kill them when he sees his approaching would-be kidnappers. Max along with his team arrive at the crash site and exchange fire with one of the androids. Max uses the missile launcher to destroy it. Julio uses a laser to cut a hole on the side of the shuttle, and the men begin to move toward John. The second android emerges from the shuttle, and while firing at it, Julio shoots John on the left side of his chest. Max rips the head of the second android, but they must rush to extract the data from John's brain because he has entered cardiac arrest. 
Sandro uses a computer to make the connection between John's and Max's brains, and the information begins to download. Kruger's helicopter appears in a distance when the information finishes downloading. John dies, and Delacorte sees his death projected on a screen. Sandro tries to extract the information uploaded to Max's brain, but everything looks scrambled to him. Sandro also panics and decides to run away. Spider, who has been watching the entire fiasco, freaks out when he learns Max's information is useless. Kruger leans out of the helicopter's open door. From the air, he tosses four tiny grenades at Sandro's fleeing figure. The grenades embed themselves in Sandro's back and explode when Kruger detonates them. Manuel, Julio, and Max shoot at the helicopter, and Kruger shoots back. Manuel manages to escape, so Max and Julio jump in one of the cars. They try to drive away, but Kruger fires missiles at the hood of their car. The resulting explosion sends the car flying and spinning through the air. Max survives the crash and uses the exoskeleton's strength to pry his way out of the wreckage. Kruger's helicopter lands. Kruger intercepts Max and manages to cut his abdomen. He tries to stab Max again, perhaps fatally, but Julio jumps out from behind the car and shoots at Kruger. Kruger turns his fury on Julio and knocks him to the ground and stabs him with a huge sword making him dead. Kruger gets hit by a missile launched by Max and sensing the opportunity Max runs away. Kruger finds the laptop Sandro used. Kruger pursues Max in his helicopter, but he and his men lose him. They dispatch several drones to track and locate Max. In response to John's death and Max's escape, Delacorte jams the sky above Los Angeles, meaning nothing can fly out of the city. Spider sees the no-fly command and realizes Max must have downloaded something very important into his brain. Frey tells her daughter Matilda it is time for them to go home. She goes to get her car, but an injured Max stops her. He's on the run and needs immediate medical attention from the wounds Kruger gave him. Frey decides to help him. She takes Max and Matilda back to her house, and she stitches Max's wound. She sees the counterfeit skin tattoo that Spider gave him so he could pass as a citizen of Elysium. When Max wakes up in the morning, he tries to leave, but Frey stops him. She begs him to take Matilda with him because without a med bay, she will die. Max tells Frey the best thing he can do for her and Matilda is to leave their house. Meanwhile, Kruger and his comrades upload the laptop's contents onto the helicopter's computer. Kruger quickly deduces that the program could rewrite Elysium's computer mainframe and declare a new leader. One of their flying trackers sees Max and alerts the men of his whereabouts. Max manages to bring the tracker down by tossing a rock at it, and he gets away before Kruger arrives. Kruger deduces that Max came from Frey's house and the three break into her home. Kruger hits Frey to know about Max hideouts, but she has no idea. He and his men kidnap Frey and Matilda and fly away on the helicopter. Max goes to Spider for his ticket to Elysium. Spider tells him that whatever he has on his brain is powerful which made the CCB shut down all flights from Los Angeles to anywhere. Right now no one can get a space shuttle out of Los Angeles, but if they figure out what's on Max's brain, maybe they can figure out a way to override the system. Spider sees the data Max downloaded from John and he recognizes its importance. Instead of seeing the potential for new leadership, Spider says Max could use the program to make everyone on Earth a citizen of Elysium. Then the androids would protect Earth citizens, and shuttles carrying dozens of med bays would come to Earth. All Max cares about is getting to Elysium so he can save himself. He does not intend to die. He decides to contact Kruger so that he can transport him to Elysium. Max returns to the down tracker and its camera shows Max on the helicopter's computer screen. When Kruger and his men land, Max pulls the pin on a grenade and holds a lever that will detonate the grenade if he removes his hand. He tells Kruger that he can have the data if he is taken to Elysium. Kruger agrees to the deal. Max is surprised to see that Kruger has taken Frey and Matilda hostage. He continues to hold his grenade and watches as Kruger makes lewd suggestions to Frey. Kruger gets word to Delacorte that he is Max and will deliver him shortly. As the helicopter prepares to land on Elysium, Kruger tries to subdue Max. Max fights back, and he loses control of the grenade. It flies through the air and explodes in Kruger's face. 
the explosion causes the helicopter to crash in the front yard of a giant mansion. Matilda is knocked unconscious, and Max tells Frey to run to the mansion and find its med bay. Crow attacks Max and knocks him unconscious with a mighty blow. Delacorte uses the crash to wrest control. The CCB from Patel to her. She dispatches androids to capture Frey, Matilda, and Max. Spider sees that Max has landed on Elysium, and he decides to go with Manuel and some other men to help him overthrow the ECA. When Max regains consciousness, Delacorte has hooked him up to a brain data extraction machine. Frey is also in the room, cradling Matilda's unconscious body. Delacorte tells the men operating the machine to extract the program from Max's brain, even though it kills him. Somewhere else in the same building, Crow and Drake will Kruger's body to a med bay. Kruger's brain survived the grenade's explosion, even if his face did not, and a few minutes in the med bay restores his features. Kruger is furious at how Max hurt him and vows to cut off Max's head so he can use the program to take control of Elysium. He dispatches Drake to remove any threat CCB poses to them, and Crow to get Frey and Matilda. Crow arrives and takes Frey and her daughter down to Kruger. Delacorte instructs the men to begin the data extraction before leaving the room. The CCB agents begin the data extraction. Max uses his exoskeleton strength to rip through the metal cuffs that bind him to the extraction machine. He defeats the agents easily and grabs the throat of one of them. He demands to know where Frey and Matilda were taken. The man guesses they were taken to the medical bay. Max chases off after Crow. Meanwhile, Drake walks into the CCB's control room. He tosses a grenade inside and ducks around the doorframe just as the explosion tears through the room. He continues to detonate grenades throughout the building, killing most of the CCB's agents. Crow brings Frey and Matilda to the medical bay, where Kruger awaits him and tosses them into a supply closet. Delacorte arrives and reprimands Kruger for crashing the helicopter into a residential area of Elysium. Kruger loses his temper and stabs Frey in the neck. He sees a more advanced version of an android exoskeleton hanging on the medical bay's walls and tells Crow to put it on him. Frey tries to stop Delacorte's bleeding, but Delacorte weakly tells her, enough. She dies a few moments later. Spider and his men land and find Max. Max tells them they can have the program on his mind if they help him find Frey and Matilda and get the pair to a med bay. Spider agrees. Crow finishes putting the exoskeleton on Kruger, and along with Drake, the men set out to find Max. Max, Spider, and Spider's men find the medical bay and free Frey and Matilda from the supply closet. Max tells Frey to take Matilda, find a med bay at a nearby mansion, and cure her. Frey doesn't want to leave without Max, and besides, as a non-citizen of Elysium, a med bay won't cure Matilda. Max promises her he is about to fix that problem and swears he is right behind her and Matilda. Reluctantly, Frey runs out with Matilda in her arms, and Spider sends Manuel with them. Max, Spider, and another man decide they must go to the central control room to upload the virus to Elysium's mainframe. As it turns out, the central control room is located at the opposite end of a large industrial room. The three need to cross a metal bridge to get to the other side. As they begin to run across the bridge, Kruger appears and attacks Max. Outside, Frey and Manuel find a mansion and break into it. They search for a med bay. Back on the... Kruger taunts Max as the latter man weakly tries to fight back. Kruger pulls out his sword, but Spider takes a swing at him and knocks the sword off of the bridge. Kruger knocks him aside. He grabs Max and shoves him against the bridge's railing. In a nifty maneuver, Max uses the last of his strength to kick off of the ground and flip backwards, over Kruger's head and over the bridge's railing. He grabs the railing with one hand and the mechanism that connects Kruger's nervous system to the exoskeleton with the other. The controlling mechanism detaches from Kruger, rendering his exoskeleton useless. Max pulls himself up onto the bridge and pulls out another grenade. He hits Kruger, stuffs the grenade between his skin and the exoskeleton, and tosses the other man off of the bridge. Kruger explodes, this time in a way no med bay can save. Frey and Manuel find a med bay. Frey places Matilda on the med bay and waits for something to happen. Max and Spider finally make it into the central control room. 
Spider hooks Max's brain to the computer mainframe and prepares to upload the program. A flashing screen tells him that extracting the data from Max's brain will kill him. Max suspects as much, and he asks Spider for his walkie-talkie. Manuel has the other walkie-talkie, and at Max's request, he hands it to Frey. Max apologizes for breaking his promise that he could not join her in Elysium. After saying goodbye to Frey, Max tells Spider to upload the program. The upload begins, and Max dies. Spider adjusts the program so that after it is implemented, all of Earth's citizens will be citizens of Elysium. Patel and some surviving CCB agents burst into the central control room with several androids just as the data upload finished. Elysium loses power, and then the power returns. Patel commands the androids to arrest Spider, but the android tells Patel that he cannot arrest a citizen of Elysium. Now he and all of Earth's citizens count as citizens of Elysium. Frey tries to get Matilda's medbay to work, and to her relief, it recognizes her as a citizen. The med bay detects her leukemia and cures her. Matilda awakens, and Frey hugs her daughter. Elysium's new program finds the names of all of Earth's sick and injured residents and dispatches space shuttles packed with med bays to help them. Thanks for watching.